Joe. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Teddy, I understand some of the obstacles that this counterpuncher faces from an offensive standpoint of what he wants to try to do against this outside fighter. But what about defensively? What does he need to be conscious of defensively? Well, he can't fall asleep, first of all. And, you know, some of that is consistent with what he has to do no matter who he's fighting. Counterpunchers are usually pretty good defensively. I mean, that's how they create their offense, Joe. They make you miss. So, you know, he's got to make sure he stays on his piece and shoes. That, you know, when he's walking after the guy, he's going to have to go after him a little bit. That, you know, he's ready for the guy to stop and pot shot. You know, it's not like when the guy's coming at him and he's ready all the time. He's got to make sure that he's ready in different situations. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. He just missed that shot up top. A well-placed left hand up top. You got this one. Well-targeted hook by Money. And he's holding. The Beast is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Solid jab by the Beast from the east. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Davis. And now he's targeting upstairs. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Money. Solid hook upstairs. Davis is tagged. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Up top with the right hand. Davis is tagged. The Beast is able to land a good, solid left hand. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Davis. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Final 10 seconds of round number one. is ripped to the head. This round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside as always with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They, they do. They, 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 Solid. And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. One, two. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Little head knocking with that right hand. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Sharp and accurate one-two by the Beast from the East. Halfway through round number two. 
Solid left hand to the head. Back to basics here as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in. You want to stay on the outside? Use that jab. Money's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Davis is now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Marking that target right above the belt line. The Beast's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Davis is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. 